Yo, what's good with y'all? All right, so in this vid, I'm basically gonna talk about how to transmute the energy and transform the sexual energy into more subtle energy and spiritual energy. Because this is the whole point um, of the spiritual path and of the path of celibacy. It's really to transform yourself. Control your mind and transform this energy into spiritual energy so you can live a wonderful life. A wonderful life with you know vitality and, and spiritual greatness. Because we don't want to be like those priests who do bad things with children and stuff like that because they don't really understand celibacy. Because when they're getting on celibacy, they're suppressing the sexual energy instead of transforming that energy. But we need to understand that this energy is our vitality. It is the life force. And it's the most important energy on this planet. So if we use this, instead of shooting it outwards, this life force energy, we shoot the life force energy upwards and transform that gross physical semen into more subtle semen and subtle energy, then we're going to gain vitality. We're going to gain life. We're going to gain wisdom, knowledge, intelligence, spiritual growth, everything, bro. Everything is in your seed. Your whole entire life is in your seed. The reason that people have no energy and can't accomplish what they want to accomplish is because they don't have the life force energy. You wonder why you can't, you know, your life's not going the way it should go. It's not flowing the way you want it to flow. It's not flowing that way because your body does not have the energy because you probably wasted it through years of masturbation or sex. One ejaculation has 200 to 500 million sperm cells. So if each sperm cell were to um, penetrate an egg, that would populate the entire United States. One ejaculation could populate the entire United States. That's how much energy is within you, my guy. This is how all the great, the great beings, all the great seers, sages, saints, mystics, this is how they reached these levels of enlightenment. It was the transmutation of the sexual energy. So this, this video is going to be very simple, by the way. I'm just going to give you a quick technique. And it's not even really a technique. It's something that is just you kind of do automatically and you, you, you get better with practice. But what I was saying earlier was that um, the, the, some, a lot of people in the West, like a lot of people in the church with all these like bad things with children, celibacy got a bad name because they didn't understand celibacy. They weren't transmutating. They were suppressing. And what happens if you practice celibacy just in your body, you're still lusting in your mind, right? So you're, you're refraining from sexual activity in the body, but in your mind, you're lusting, you're lusting, you're lusting, constantly imagining uh, all these uh, sexual things in your mind over and over and over. And that is what's called suppression. But the true way to practice celibacy is in body and mind. And when, you're and when you control your mind and you're disciplined in your mind, that is true celibacy and that is true transmutation and true control. So what you want to do basically is as soon as a thought arises, as soon as it arises, you want to get rid of it instantly. Instantly get rid of the thought. Because the problem with lust and, and where we get caught is that we entertain these thoughts and these thoughts create new desires and new thought patterns that go on and, and keep going through this life. So we keep getting trapped in the sexual desire, in the sexual thought. But if we cut the thought off right when it arises, we cut the lust off at its root. And this is how you transcend lust because you cut it, you cut it off at the root. You don't let the seed or the sexual impulse you don't let it sprout and grow. You cut it off. So basically, as soon as it arises, you don't get involved in it. You, don't, you, you put your attention on, your, on the source. You don't get involved. You automatically get rid of it. And what happens when you do not entertain the thought and you get rid of it right away is that 
instead of the energy going downwards, the electrical uh, life force energy, instead of it going downwards, it shoots upwards. It shoots upwards. And this is how you transmute the energy and, and, get, and get, uh, obtain the vitality and obtain the spiritual growth. Because we, we all know how uh, lust, well, a lot of us actually don't know how sexuality works. But basically, we know that when the thought arises and you start getting involved in that thought in your mind, the energy shoots down. And then this is when you stimulate the sexual organ and you, you get hard or whatever. And, th and that, that's basically the lot. You're losing energy, basically, because it's shooting downwards. So we have to understand that lust is all in the mind. Sexuality is an illusion. It's all in your imagination. The sexual organ is stimulated by that sexual impulse in the mind. When you see a woman or you, you, you see like, yeah, uh, the opposite sex. If you, didn't, if you didn't have any lust within your mind, the sexual organs would not be stimulated at all. And there would be no sexuality whatsoever. Because you're seeing reality for what it is. A woman is not really a woman. A man is not really a man. You just have this imaginary thought in your mind about what she is and who she is. Or you have these sexual lusty thoughts about the woman. But if you see her for what she is, you don't know what the fuck a woman is. You just see it purely how she is. Or, or you see a man if you're a woman and you see him how he is. There's no lust in your mind. So once you start doing this, this transmutates the, the energy automatically. As soon as the thought arises, you don't entertain it. You get rid of it right away. Boom. It's gone. Ener the, the sexual energy transmutates upwards. And you just keep doing this, keep doing this, keep doing this, keep doing this. And in, in the scriptures, the, the saints and the sages, they say it could take a while. It could take a while for the karma to eventually stop, for the sexual impulse to stop arising. But if you continually do not entertain it and you continually discard the thought as soon as it arises and you keep doing it, it might take years, probably will definitely take years. Eventually, it will just be automatic and the energy will transmutate automatically. The semen will just rise higher, rise higher, rise higher. And that's when you start to get the glow on the face. You start to speak with confidence. You start to have all these spirit this spiritual growth. Because the semen is transmutating upwards instead of downwards. And this is why... Um, bro, this is why we age and stuff. This is this, Well, we're going to age regardless. But this is why like our health deteriorates so quickly. Because we're wasting this vital fluid. It's going down instead of up. It's going to hell instead of heaven. So when we transmutate the energy, it goes upwards. Because really, a thought is an electrical energy. So when you involve, you get involved in that imagination, you basically go unconscious. And that's where addiction comes in. You're, you're unconscious. You're in imagination. You're not in reality. You get absorbed into that sexual thought. You get absorbed into that imagination. And then you, you go masturbate or you go have sex because you're not even aware, bro. You're absorbed in, a, in imagination. But when you don't get involved in the thought and you get rid of it instantly, that electricity doesn't go down. It goes up. So this is the way, man. It's very simple. It's a very simple way to transmute the energy. Um, that's really all I got to say. This is your life force energy. Your seed is your life force. All the food that you eat on a daily basis, it's going towards the blood, the bone, which is a, and the, the bone marrow and the flesh and the fat. And that all those substances eventually go into making semen. But if you are constantly ejaculating, you throw off that process of producing that vitality and life force. Celibacy is the key to success in life. All the scriptures say this. It's the key to success in life, man. Physically, mentally, intellectually, spiritually, every aspect of life, celibacy is the key because your sexual energy is your life force. It is your vitality. 
How can you accomplish anything without your vitality? It is the greatest gift. Your sexual energy is the greatest gift for you. It's not a bad thing. But the West has missed, the West has not understood celibacy. They thought celibacy was suppression because they still lusted in their, in their mind. And they didn't transmutate the energy. So they, they, they misunderstood celibacy. So they, they went the opposite way and said, oh, do whatever you want. Go have sex with anyone you want and, and, and be liberated and do all these crazy stuff. But that is the destruction of this world, bro. It's universal law. Masturbation is not natural. It's a going against universal law. And I want you to know, I don't want to scare you or anything because it's not scary. But you need to understand that there is consequences to your actions. And doing these sexual acts, wasting your seed for a little momentary pleasure, that's going to last five seconds. It's only going to last five seconds. You doing these acts is going to bring consequences to your health. Your physically, mentally, spiritually, every aspect is going to cost you. I, I it, Speaking from my own experience, you know, wasting my seed all throughout my teenage years and, and then transitioning to the semen retention and celibacy journey. I know the difference. I know what this seed can do and how, how it can affect you. So I just want the youth to understand how important your seed is, man. And when you retain this seed and you, and, and you have this vitality, you will achieve anything, man. You will... You will be such a great being. You will live such a wonderful life. Whether you're in a cave meditating on God, you're a freaking athlete, you're a musician, whatever you want to be, you will be successful. You will be the greatest. Your seed is the key to your greatness. The greatest secret in human history is that the, the sexual energy is not supposed to go down. It's supposed to go up. And this is how we get to heaven. I love y'all. Peace.